Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the infinite heat switch on your cooktop. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, you will have to pull your cooktop completely out of your cabinets. So our first step will be to turn off the power. Locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. And once you've done that, go to the junction box located beneath your cabinets and disconnect the cord or cable from that junction box so that you can lift the top out. Once you've disconnected the power, your next step will be to disconnect the mounting brackets that secure your cooktop to your countertop. Once we've done that, we'll lift it out, sit it on a suitable work surface, and we can do the repair. Now with the cooktop on a suitable work surface, we're next going to remove all of the control knobs and we'll just set those aside. Now next we'll look around the perimeter of that unit and you'll see that there are some mounting screws that secure the cooktop itself to the burner box. So we're gonna to need to remove all of those screws. Now once you've removed all the retaining screws, we're next going to carefully lift up on that top and then we'll set it aside. Now once we've got the glass top off of this unit, we're next going to loosen up the screws that secure this heat shield that wraps around the actual control box. We don't need to remove this completely, we simply need to be able to loosen it and push it back to access a screw that's hidden down in this side. So we'll begin with one screw located in the corner and another one out on the end. You can then just pivot that slightly out of the way and that will expose one of the retaining screws for the control box that is located down in that area. So we'll remove that next. And we also have two more screws on the front and one on the side. Find there are convenient notches located where those screws are. Now, before we lift that control box out, we'll remove the two screws that secure the actual control to that mounting bracket. You can then tilt that housing up so that you can access the bottom of it. Now, with that control box tilted up, you should be able to pull the actual control completely out through the top. You may need to maneuver some of the harnesses a bit. Now we'll next need to remove all the individual wires that attach to that control and take note of the location of each of those so that we can get them on the proper spot on your new control. Now it's best to use your needle nose pliers to remove each of these wires. Set the old control aside. Be sure to inspect each of the terminal lens. Look for any signs of corrosion or arcing. If so, you'll need to replace those wire ends. Make sure they fit on nice and tight. If not, you'll need to crimp them with your pliers. Now we'll also want to reinstall that protective rubber shield. Make sure we line up the holes with the screw holes on the top of the control. And then we'll fit that shaft through the opening in the bracket. Thank you. 
and just tilt that assembly down into place until we can attach the control with the two screws on the top. Now, once we have that tightened securely, we're gonna make sure that we line that control box up with the screw holes on the front and the side. We'll start by installing the screw through the bottom first. And then we'll put the ones around the perimeter. Take that shield and secure it with the two screws. And now we're ready to put the glass top back on. Now next we'll carefully lay that glass top into position, line up the shaft for the controls. And that will ensure that it lines up all the way around. We'll next secure it with the mounting screws on the side. Make sure that all the grommets are pressed firmly down onto the cooktop. Then we can reinstall all the knobs. And now we can prepare that cooktop to go back into your counter. Now we're ready to put the cooktop back into your counter. We'll reconnect the mounting hardware, reconnect the cable to your junction box. Then we can turn on the power and your repair is complete.